Talks are underway for Arsenal to sign Real Sociedad's Mikel Marino. Arsenal has increased their efforts to sign Real Sociedad's 28-year-old Spanish international, Mikel Marino. Mikel Arteta has wanted Marino for a long time, and the two clubs are now in talks to make a deal. Arsenal's sporting director, Edu, has been in Spain this week trying to reach an agreement. Arsenal are confident of a positive outcome with Marino eager to join the club and play under Arteta. Personal terms are unlikely to be an issue. Sociedad are resigned to the possibility of losing Marino, who has just 12 months remaining on his current contract. Although they have offered him an extension, the players' representatives have made clear that his intention is to join Arsenal. As was the case with Ricardo Calafiri, Arsenal are likely to want assurance of a significant departure before they can proceed to the final stages of any deal for Marino. In Calafiri's case, Arsenal only progressed the signing towards completion once they had reached a broad agreement with Fulham over the sale of Emil Smith-Rowe. As things stand, the likeliest player to make way for Marino is Eddie Nkidia. Although a move to Marseille has fallen through, there is interest from the 25-year-old from elsewhere including Bournemouth, who are looking for a replacement for Dominic Solank. Earlier this week, Marino's midfield partner Martin Zubamendi turned down a move to Liverpool in favor of remaining at Real Sociedad. Marino came through the ranks at Osasuna before having spells at Borussia Dortmund and Newcastle United. He joined Real Sociedad in the summer of 2018, where he has gone on to score 27 goals and provide 30 assists in 242 games for the club. At international level, Marino has scored two goals in 28 appearances for his country and played in all seven games of Spain's Euro 2024 winning campaign in Germany earlier this summer. Rio Ferdinand predicts Premier League title winner and top four. Rio Ferdinand is backing Arsenal to win the Premier League title this season, ending Manchester City's run of dominance in the top flight. Pep Guardiola's men have won the last four Premier League titles, becoming the first side to do so, and they will be bidding to make yet more history in the forthcoming campaign. The Gunners have come second in each of the last two seasons, coming close to toppling the citizens, but not quite managing it. Ferdinand reckons Mikel Arteta can bring the title back to North London this time around, though, believing their one summer signing so far will make a big difference. Ricardo Calafiri has arrived from Bologna and Ferdinand is so impressed with the defender that he reckons he will help make Arsenal champions. I think it's hard to go against City because of how successful they've been over the last four seasons, said Ferdinand on TNT Sports. They've set a new benchmark, a new record of four in a row. But I just think Arsenal, Calafiri coming in on the left-hand side, if he comes in and ensures that area UPI think he's a fantastic player, played at Bologna under Thiago Mata, he understands that type of football that Arteta wants to play. I think that was the area that was a slight weakness in the team. He gives them a bit of balance there, and a bit of stability. So we'll go maybe Arsenal to win it, but there's gotta be a hunger. Ferdinand confirmed his picks for the top four backing his old club Manchester United to return to the Champions League places. The former England defender fancies Arsenal to finish top, ahead of Manchester City, with Liverpool third and the Red Devils in fourth. Arsenal will begin their Premier League title challenge on Saturday at home to Wolves, with Manchester City travelling to Chelsea on Sunday. Manchester United get the season underway by hosting Fulham on Friday night, with Liverpool going to newly promoted Ipswich Town on Saturday lunchtime. Michael Arteta has received a Premier League warning from Alan Shearer ahead of the new season. The season will begin on Friday night when Manchester United hosts Fulham, and Arsenal's first game is scheduled for Saturday at 3 p.m. at the Emirates against Wolves. Arteta's team has been competitive against Manchester City in the last two seasons, finishing second both times as City has won a record four titles in a row. But with City losing some important players and Arsenal being active in the transfer market, along with another year of experience as challengers, they will have high expectations for challenging again this year. In order to avoid putting pressure on the Spaniard, Shearer stated on the Rest is Football podcast that they do need to win a trophy as soon as possible. It depends. If they do not win, you look at the bigger picture, how close they have come, how good their football is, and their injury situation, stated the all-time top goal scorer in Premier League history. You have to look at all those things but he will have to win something, whether it is this season or not. But that has to happen eventually, right? We all recognize how formidable Manchester City are, there's no doubt about that, which makes it very difficult for Arsenal. 
but at some point he'll need to win something and take that extra step, but their progress has been really good. I doubt he'll be under pressure unless they completely slide away this season. Arteta has won just one trophy since taking over as manager of Arsenal in 2019, the FA Cup in his first season in charge, and, though he has helped the club progress, there hasn't been much to show for it in terms of silverware. Last season, his side finished two points behind City, taking the title race to the final day, while the year before they were five points short. If they fail to win the league again, it will mark 21 seasons since they last lifted the Premier League. Arsenal legend David Seaman has called on his former club to make two additional signings before the transfer window closes, stressing the need for a new striker and a right winger to bolster Mikel Arteta's squad. The Gunners have shown remarkable improvement over the past two seasons, consistently challenging Manchester City at the top of the Premier League table. However, they have narrowly missed out on the title, leading Seaman to believe that Arsenal still needs to reinforce key areas to mount a serious challenge this season. This summer, Arsenal have seen little transfer activity, with Ricardo Calafiris' arrival from Bologna standing out as the only major acquisition. While the signing has added depth, Seaman feels that more competition is needed in the attack, particularly as a backup for Bukayo Saka, who has shouldered a heavy workload over the last four seasons. The former Arsenal and England goalkeeper expressed concerns about relying solely on Gabriel Jesus as the primary striker, noting that Gabriel Martinelli, though talented, may not be the ideal cover for Saka on the right wing. I'd like to see some sort of backup for Saka, Seaman said on Betway Seaman Says Podcast. At the end of last season, when Bukeo was out, Gabriel Martinelli shifted to the right, but as a right footer, it didn't work as well. The team struggled without proper cover for Saka. Seaman also raised questions about Arsenal's striking options, wondering whether the club needs a player with the profile of Erling Haaland. Do we need a striker? A Holland type? There was a lot of talk about Ivan Tony coming in, and they were pursuing another striker, but that hasn't worked out. Having different options up front could be crucial. Despite his concerns, Seaman praised Gabriel Jesus, emphasizing his ability when fully fit if Jesus can stay injury-free. He's one of the best when it comes to finishing. He's so calm in the box. Looking ahead to the new season, Seaman expressed optimism about Arsenal's midfield, particularly with Thomas Partey likely to stay at the club. Midfield seems okay to me. I think Partey is staying, despite earlier rumors of him leaving. He, too, needs a long, injury-free season. Ex-Manchester United and Spurs forward Teddy Sheringham has backed Arsenal to sign an out-and-out -out striker this summer. They currently have Gabriel Jesus, but injury problems have hampered his appearances for the Gunners and Mikel Arteta finds himself looking for a striker. The Gunners have been linked with multiple attackers, but Sheringham believes one choice would be better than the rest. The former Spurs attacker says that if Arsenal want to beat Manchester City to the Premier League title, then they should sign Brentford man Ivan Tony. Speaking to online poker, he said for me, I still think they need a center forward who can finish things off. A player like Ivan Tony would be a massive addition for Arsenal, and I think if they signed him, they would be even stronger title contenders. I'm very surprised that they're going for more defenders and not signing a striker. I like Gabriel Jesus. I think he's a very good player, but he's not going to score you 25 goals a season, which is what you need if you want to win a title. Arsenal need a number 9 if they're going to go the distance in the title race. I would snap him up if I was a manager looking for a top center forward. As Sheringham mentioned, the Gunners do have a solid striker in Gabriel Jesus, so it raises the question, do they need Ivan Tony? 27-year-old Jesus has been at the Emirates since June 2022 when he joined from title rivals Manchester City for $45 million. In his two seasons at Arsenal, Jesus has made 53 Premier League appearances scoring 15 goals which works out at almost 0.3 goals per game. Whereas Ivan Tony has made 50 appearances in his last two seasons, scoring 24 goals which is almost 0.5 goals per game. A considerably better goal tally whilst playing for a team who are significantly weaker than Arsenal shows just how clinical Tony can be. It also shows that he would be a worthy signing for Mikel Arteta who is looking for that final piece to help the Gunners beat Manchester City to the title.